Yes, my peoples, it's T, and I'm back for week seven of The Apprentice. Let's get it. So yeah, this week's video, I don't think it's gonna be a long one. Um, it's not gonna be a long one. <laughs> oh man, Apprentice, Apprentice, Apprentice. All right, so first of all, when the hell answered the phone in at the start of, of, of um, episode seven, I was like, who the hell is that? No way, they got a new a, a new candidate. It must be to replace the ones who left. Then I realized, oh, it's the hell. <laughs> um, shows how much I don't even notice him in the show. Crazy. Um, and it's funny how they all clearly got told to look up and look around at the ceiling and you know be and pretend that they're all amazed at the at the views um, at St Paul's Cathedral. Um, it just looks so staged and fake. And to be fair, this show is starting to look like the whole thing is staged and fake. I'm gonna be honest. But this week, they mixed the teams up and they had to design a children's lunchbox um, and an app, which to be fair, very honestly, it sounds very boring to me. Um, they need to, to do better with their task. The ta I feel like the task are just becoming a bit boring as well. I'm not sure if I'm being too negative about the show, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's just me, but uh, let me know in, in the comments if you feel this the same way too about, about the show this year. Um, but yes... Onto the task, Zahel, Zahel finally became PM. Finally, he has no he has nowhere to hide. He has to actually be on camera because he's the PM and make choices and decisions. So he's the PM of the Affinity team. And Danny is the PM of Team Apex. Danny and Simba moved across to Team Apex from Affinity. Um, and ironically, Simba was also the, the sub-team leader. So that was a bit of a um, interesting kind of mix-up there of the teams. Um... And they had to make a lunchbox for six to eights. Um, it's funny because the editing, the editing was so poor this week as well. Because it was clearly making it look like Danny wasn't listening to any, anybody um, when they was talking. But yeah, she wasn't listening. But the way how the way how it looked in the edit, it looked like she was just completely ignoring what people are saying. The edit was very low, low quality this week. But um, but yes, yeah, to be fair, she did she, she didn't listen. Victoria for the second week in a row has made a very good observation from the very start. You are missing the target audience. You This is too young. And she kept saying it over and over again. And nobody, nobody, nobody listened. Um, also, I do like how Zahel kind of kept his kept to his guns. And just when Vic, um, when Marnie was like, I don't want to be on this team. I should be on the design team. I, I like how he stuck to his guns and was quite strong in his, in his, in his decision making. However, um, I do feel like it could be a mistake um because she's she's one that had old ideas so um yeah but marnie is definitely a very dominating character ain't she she's so so dominating um she just don't let anyone else speak um or maybe it's just the edit i don't know but um also this week i feel like mark is a bit useless as well every week not this week sorry every week mark just seems just useless like he's just there like hmm yeah maybe you're right Hmm. Literally, that's all he does every episode. No idea what what value he brings. Um, and on a side note, how embarrassing was that rap from Simba? I never want to see that again. I never want to see that again. That was ugh, I had I got secondhand embarrassment there. Cringe, 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 cringe. Um, honestly, I'm not even gonna dive any deeper into this much. I'm not gonna talk too much about this. It's a never poor week again from both teams both teams were calamities and this is because this show is becoming very very boring this year this season um the pitches and the market research was poor the products missed the brief um which victoria did say a lot of times and in general the whole show is just a shambles shambles every week every week is just there's nothing good that comes out every week it's it's poor um and both teams for me were super poor again Zahil was a calamity for sure. Danny was shocking too. Both really poor PMs. And overall, across the seven weeks, Zahil hasn't shown anything. Um, so to be fair, um, if his team loses, really he should be going home. Um, but let's see who wins in the end. Um, actually, I'm not going to say who wins. I should say, let's see who doesn't lose. Because <laughs> in my opinion, the, yeah, uh, no one's winning. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's one team that just doesn't lose and there's one team that 
yeah, that loses. <laughs> um, no one wins, in my, in my opinion. But anyway, um, Team Affinity, in the end, however, they did rightly lose, actually. Um, they got zero orders in total. Absolutely no orders. Shocking. Breaking records every week, to be fair. Zahel, for me, 1,000% needs to go home. Super poor PM. Made poor decisions all round. And on a side note, Marnie was also very annoying as well this week. Um, and for the first time, Avi didn't really annoy me this week. Um, although he still didn't do, he didn't do anything. He wasn't as annoying. I think because Zahel and Marnie was so poor and, and Danny. Yeah. But the winners, oh, sorry, the non-losers um, got treated to some posh afternoon tea as their treat. Another basic treat. It's nice, but yeah. How long are you going to be, how long are you going to be eat, eating little snacks and nibbles for? Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, to be fair, the Ever team did finish with also very low orders as well. Um, but yes, Team Affinity lost, so Zahel was the PM there. But it could have easily been Team Apex, and Danny was poor too. But she's normally quite decent, to be fair. But um, Zahel brought back Bradley and Marnie into the boardroom. Um, was it the right decision? I don't know, to be fair. I think Marnie for sure, probably. Bradley and Bradley is so serious, like so serious. Um, but the person who went home in the end was Zahel. It was Zahel. Um, as myself and many others, many of us here on this channel predicted last week in the comments, um, and I did say in my in my week six um, breakdown as well that he just has been completely non-existent and he will be going home at some point very very soon because he's just not in the show um and i'm sure avi will be potentially next unless he keeps slipping and sliding and ducking and diving and being on the winning team <laughs> um but yeah next week is looking like it's going to be the same crap to be honest um but we shall see we shall see the task at least does look a little more interesting a little more exciting some role playing um so let's see what happens there so yeah that's The Apprentice, man. Do join me next week for next week's breakdown. Hopefully, we have at least one good episode. Week 8 next week, down to 9 contestants. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this week's episode and who you think is actually starting to shine through. Is anybody shining? Is anybody not shining? Let me know. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and all of that jazz. Let's get it. Yeah.